All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, as you guys know, Yugo is my favorite character on Arc 5 or Arc V or whatever you want to call it. And uh, he's got that Clear Wing Synchro Dragon and that Crystal Meth Synchro Dragon. So this person decided to go ahead and create the next level. This is Marvelous Wing Synchro Dragon. I, I, I was hoping they would create, you know, keep it drug related, drug related. Because the first thing you're doing speed, then you jump all the way up to Crystal Meth. So maybe this should be a, like heroin wing synchro dragon or I don't know tobacco wing synchro dragon just take it to the next level of drugs anyway uh, this card's pretty powerful we're gonna go ahead and review it as if it was a real card except he has a little bit of a typo there you clearly see it's a synchro effect monster but what type is it what, what type is it it has no type this is a god no it's probably a dragon anyway marvelous wing synchro dragon is level Looks like level 10? No, level 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, level 9. Okay. Level 9 win. Hopefully, supposed to be Dragon Synchro Effect Monster. 3,500 attack, 3,000 defense. Made with two tuners and one or more non tuner Synchro Monsters. So, and speeds are probably supposed to use what? Uh, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon and two Red Eye Dice, I guess. Because you need two tuners. So. It's not terrible to bring out, a little bit inconsistent. You could probably do it, especially with that uh, with that one tuner monster where you banish him to special summon a different tuner monster from your hand or graveyard and uh, your your recovery. You could probably bust out two uh, red guys. You just got to get them situated first and then have your uh, clear wing and you can pull this off. So let's see if this is actually worth pulling off. So, effect reads, once per turn during either player's turn, when another card effect is activated, you can negate the activation if you do destroy it, and if that card was a monster, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack until the end of this turn. Hold on, let me rub my eyes. Quasar? Is that you? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> so, you're able to negate everything, just like Quasar is. Alright. And, if it's a monster, you gain that attack until the end of the turn. So, instead of uh, simply just being like, well, I'm clear wing, if you activate a level 5 or higher, I'm going to kill you and gain your attack, or if you target me by... Uh, monster effect, I'm going to kill you and gain the attack. Uh, and then, you know, Crystal Meth is like, hey, if any monster effect activates, I'm going to kill it <laughs> and gain the attack. This is like any card effect. So, while you may not gain the attack off of spells and traps that you negate and destroy, you can negate spells and traps. So, not bad, not bad. That, that's a very powerful effect and a little bit too easy for uh, a card that you can pull off like this. Like, I don't know, they should have made it like, maybe like level 12 or something. If you want to make it a Quasar S monster, then you should make it with the Quasar S requirements. Like, holy crap, this is pretty easy for a good effect I had. But this card's not done. This card is not done. So, if this card battles an opponent's monster during damage calculation, this card gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent's monster it is battling during damage calculation only. So, unlike, you know, uh, Crystal Meth, where it has to be a level 5 or higher, this is just a monster, period. So, I'm already a 3,500 monster, so you're probably not going to be attacking over me, but just in case you think that you're going to try to attack over me, I'm going to go ahead and gain that attack as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty powerful. I believe that they can still honest you, though, because if someone has a monster and that's honestable, you attack them, it would be player turn. So, if you attack attacking them, I believe it's player turn priority, so you would go off first to gain their attack, and then they would chain honest. So... Chain resolves backwards, they would gain your attack off the Honest, and then you would gain their attack and crush them. So, it'd be better to go ahead and attack them, because they attack attacking you. Uh, would it still be player turn priority, or would he just go off during the damage calculation along with Honest? So that's a complicated one, you guys go ahead and tell me that. But, I believe that not even Honest is off there, like, holy crap. Like, 3,500, but I'm also going to gain your attack and fuck you up. Whether I'm attacking you or you're attacking me, it doesn't matter. I'm gaining your attack, you're getting fucked up. 3,500. And, you know, even if you actually think about using that Honest, I'm, I can just go ahead and negate it and kill it and then gain Honest's attack, because why not? <laughs> so, seriously, just ridiculously strong, really easy to pull off, and, yeah. You know, you know actually, let's talk about this card art for a second, because this card art, I just kind of skipped over it, but... What am I looking at here? Because I, I'm thinking that I'm looking at a dragon. I mean, he didn't put dragon as his type, but... Like, I see the two planets. I see the two planets. It's in space, whatever. All right. Now, the things that are going off to, like, the bottom left corner and kind of, like, the top right, although its wings and its head is, like, in the middle and it's coming at you, like, is that it? Because 
I'm, I'm really lost with this, this image. This doesn't look anything like a dragon. It's kind of like you're up in the freaking uh, art gallery just looking at the thing all sideways, just neck <laughs> turned to the side. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But seriously. So, uh, so far on the forum, only one person typed and he said, he said, Quasar is that you question mark. Uh, this looks a whole lot stronger than Quasar to be honest and ridiculously easy to pull off. Just no. Uh, one synchro plus two Tuners is hardly anyhow difficult, and decks like Speedwise could just turbo multiple copies. Uh, <laughs> being limited to negating monsters is alright, but complete effect negation alongside battle proof is by far too much. Basically, Crystal Wing plus one tuner and <laughs> one lo level more while reducing every single limitation from Crystal Wing. Yeah, this is just ridiculous. It's really easy to pull off. And then, don't forget Wonderful Soul Charge. So you just pull off this, and then just like how you see with uh, them synchro decks when they pull out that, that uh, first Quasar, and you're like, I might be able to handle that. And then they put Soul Charge, and then you just kill yourself because there's no way you can handle two. They can do the same thing, and it's just as bad. Like, how do you handle two of these? Like, all right. <laughs> so I, I think a little bit ambitious. I, I mean, I kind of wonder if uh, if Hugo's going to get another card. Uh, so far, he hasn't really done much. So uh, it'll be good to see. Of what he pulled off. He kind of just pulled off his uh, crystal wing and he hasn't been in, really in the show since. He kind of chased around Yuri, but he didn't duel in that entire episode. So, looking forward to his duel against Yuya and what will happen? Will he like beat you, you go and then absorb him into his body like he did Yuto? I don't know. We'll find out. Anyway, uh, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this fake card Friday. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you guys next Friday with another fake card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.